Mingla Bashin. This is Wiji. I don't know about you, but I really feel like getting a new haircut sometime soon. I could use a more fashionable style and perhaps get a tie too. How about you? Have you been to a hair salon here in Myanmar? Any problems communicating with the hairstylist? If so, today's lesson is just for you. In this dialogue, Weiji is going to her favorite hair salon just down the road. Later on, she has a date with a great guy she's just met. She's a bit stressed, but the hairstylist is still cool and knows how to handle the situation. Let's listen to the story. Hairstylist Mingalaba Ama Taima Oshin. It means good morning, sister. Have a seat. Mingalaba is just a general greeting. Ama is a polite way of addressing a female. Literally, it means sister. Taima Oshin is have a seat. Here we have got a pattern. Verb plus Ba Oshin. As in Taima Oshin. To show polite suggestion. Weiji said, oh, okay. It means, oh, yeah. Mm, oh is uh, exclamation. But here, do not try to pronounce it as the way it is spelled. Just pronounce it, oh. And hoke is, yes. Hairstylist said, amaga sabing amala. It means, sister, are you going to have a haircut? Amma is a polite way of addressing a female. Literally, it means sister. Ka is subject particle. Sabinya is to have a haircut. Mala is future tense particle. So this sentence, Amma ka sabinya mala means, sister, are you going to have a haircut? We you said, Sabinya bido pongtuen jena. It means I like to have a cat and a palm. Sabinya is to have a hair cat. Bido is an. Pongtuen is to have a palm. Chen is to want. Da is sentence particle. So Sabinya bido pongtuen chen da means I like to have a cat and a palm. Hair stylist said, "Kao yo sho ong mala." It means, "Will you also wash head?" Kao is head. Yo is also. Sho ong mala is, "Will you also wash?" So this is a pattern. Verb plus ong mala. It means, "Will also." So here in this case, sho ong mala. It means. Well, also wash. Wiji replied, Manika ma sho ta da be, lo a jen no sho lai li. There are altogether two sentences. Manika ma sho ta da be means, I washed it yesterday. Lo a jen no sho lai li means, if necessary, do the washing. In the first sentence, Manika ma sho ta da be, Manika is yesterday. Ma is from. Shota dabe is I have washed. So the first sentence Manika ma shota dabe means I washed it yesterday. Let's look at the second sentence, please. The second sentence is Lo a jendo sho laile. Lo a is necessary. Jendo is if. Sho laile means do the washing so the second sentence means if necessary do the washing here stylist ask kalayo ten omala it means are you going to get it dyed kala is color yo is to ten omala means will you also dye this is a pattern Ten and omala. It means will you also. Ten is literally it means put. Ten omala means will you also put. 
Wiji answers Matendo Babu a chainle te machilo which means no I won't get it die and I also don't have very much time. Let's look at the first sentence Matendo Babu. This is a sad pattern. It means won't get it die. This is a ma plus verb plus to babu patterns. It means won't do something. Let's look at the second sentence. A chain le te machine lo. In this sentence, a chain is time. Le is also. Te is very. Machine lo is because. So this sentence means I also don't have very much time. Hair stylist said, How care ba amma amyan zong lo pe ba me? Which means, Yes, sister, I promise to do it first. In this sentence, how care ba is yes, amma is polite way of addressing a female. Literally, it means sister. Amyan zong is the first it. Lo pe ba me is promise to do something. Here, lo is do so in this case lo be ba me means i promise to do it so thanks to this nimble hairdresser our amat got her new hair cut in no time and was just on time for a date well i hope you will have a similar great experience when you go to the hair salon next time at least you now know how to say what you want this is it for today. Goodbye for now and see you soon.